Today we are going to build an Android application which implements the authentication system to register and log in the user using the Google Firebase. So let me start by showing you the demo. So what's our app Android application is going to look like when we finished programming it. So let me open the app and here you can see we have register activity where your user can register for a new account and uh, he can give full name email password and phone number and if he already has one account then he can click on this and he'll be um, presented with the login activity here you can uh, he can enter the email and password and log into the system so now let me show you how it works so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create one account so let me give the full name here I'm going to select one of my email I'm going to set the password and phone number so sample phone number okay so now if I click on register it should create one new account okay so when I click on register the spinner is spinning and now I'm successfully logged into the my app okay so I have so here you can see welcome to the dashboard and the some logout button is given so now I have connected this application to the firebase so if you go if I go to the firebase here and uh, go into the project overview and into authentication hey if I resist, uh, refresh this you can see the new account here okay so this is the email that I had given and these are the ID and so on so all the user that create the accounts in your app will be uh, listed here so you can easily access uh, their details you can even reset the password disable account delete account and so on there are so many things you can do with uh, firebase but in this video today we are just going to simply implement the registers and login uh, as, um, features of firebase so i hope you are going to learn something today so let's get started okay let's start by creating an android application so here i'm going to create new android application i'm going to select the empty activity and here i'm going to give the application name simply call it as authenticator app you can name it as anything that you like click on uh, select the api 21 as our minimum api level and click on finish okay so the build is successful now it is indexing okay so before we start working on our app we need few things first you, we are going to need one google account so that we can log into the google firebase and second thing that we need to integrate firebase sdk into our android application so there are two ways to do that first is a manual method and second is by using the firebase assistant that is already integrated inside the android studio that we are going to use the Google Firebase Assistant that already have that already integrated into the Android Studio it will make uh, everything so much easier so we don't need to copy paste the library SDK and it will do everything automatically okay so if you go to the Android Studio and go to the tools here you can see the Firebase menu and if you click on that Firebase you can see few options like analytics cloud messaging and so on but we are particularly interested in this authentication and I'm gonna show you all the steps that is required to integrate the Firebase SDK into our app but before that what we are gonna do is we are going to design the login and register UI interface okay user interface so to do that we need two activity so first one is register activity and second one is login so I'm going to create that now so go to the new activity and create one empty activity 
name that activity as register and click on launcher activity okay click on finish this will be the first uh, activity that user going to see when he open our app okay that's why i have checked that launcher activity and other thing other one more activity we need for the login activity so go to activity click on empty activity and name it as login so this is our login activity click on finish and we are good to go right okay so now i'm going to design the simple register page for our activity okay it will have full name email password and phone number and one register button so i'm going to go to activity register here and uh, in design part so uh, first thing we're going to need is one background so i'm going to import one background that i have downloaded so let me go and get that it is maybe in downloads so i think this one is the wallpaper so i'm going to copy and i'm going to paste that into the drawer folder so if i paste here now i can select that image as my background so click on the constraint find that background properties here and select the background image that i have just uploaded okay so this is the background that i'm going to use so now we need few things so we're going to need this text view for the title of our app or for this activity and uh, okay so let me set the biases here i'm going to change this to the app name so this is the authenticator app right so the font size will be 25 sp and i'm going to change the font color to something more vibrant and i'm also going to change the font so go to go here more fonts and i really like this um, alkolinka i don't know how to pronounce this alkolinka font okay i'm gonna select this yes this looks very fantastic okay so i'm also going to need one more text view for the description so let me set the constraint Set the text, create new account, I'm going to change the color to something white, okay, and I'm also going to change the font size to 13 SP, and I'll set the font as the Alkalinka, Alkalinka, I don't know okay so this is too small i'll just set it to 15 sp let's see how it looks like yeah this is more and i'll set the 8 pix, uh, 8 db as a margin top now uh, i'll add the plain text field where you can actually user can put the information so for that go to text plain text and drag and drop one plain text here So this plain text field is for the full name. So I'll set the ID as a full name. And I'll set the layout width as match constraint. And I'll set the 16 dp margin on the both side. Okay, I'll set the constraint to the description of that app. And I'll set the 32 dp as the or what I'm gonna do is I'll just leave it as zero and I'll set the constant button bottom constant 
and I'll set the biases here to the appropriate po position so that it looks nice okay so uh, instead of giving this name here I'm going to delete this one and I'll just put the hint as full name okay so yeah so now I'll set the background color first I'll set the text color to white so whenever we type into the field the text will be displayed displayed as white okay so now I'm gonna give the background color so if I go and find that background properties here and background color will be black okay and I'm gonna set one padding because it looks too small so if I give the padding it will be a little bit more easier to see so 10 dp of padding should be fine okay this is good but now hen now once I give the background as black I can't see the uh, hint text okay so I'm need I need to change the hint color hint text color so to change that I need to scroll scroll down until I find the text color hint and I'll change that to white as well okay and uh, I'll also send the font size to the 13 SP and font to the our default project font okay this is more uh, appropriate I think or otherwise I can set it to 14 SP that should be fine So we're gonna need one more text that will let the user to go to login if they are already registered or they have already created account before so they don't need to create again they'll be allowed to go to login page and they can log in using that credential right so I'll just say Okay, and I'll give the font color and yeah okay this is more um, appropriate I think so this is how our register user interface look like so I'm gonna do for the login app as well so I'm gonna go to activity login and I'm going to create the same layout so for that I'll just copy from here okay uh, before that let me set the ID for this so button ID will be register button okay and here I also need to change the same thing register button and this will be create text So these are the ID that I'm going to give for these uh, text view and the register. 
button okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this from here okay we don't need all of this but we'll just customize later and paste it inside this activity login but here we don't need this full name and phone okay so I I think I have written the password instead of phone so let me change that here so this is our phone number and this is our text phone okay okay so go to the activity login and here as I said we don't need this full name and the password thing okay we only need these two fields and also I need to set the background so uh, let me set the background click on this constant go to background properties and set the background that I have added in, into the driver folder okay so uh, I'll set the constant for these as well okay so this will have 32 and uh, let me set the biases to make it more good looking right and this one will have create account new here create account and this will say login instead of register right so this is our login user interface so now it is time to write the actual code that actual code which will connect the firebase to our, to our app okay so let's do that 